Hello and welcome to Workshop Studios. Today's project is this Gen Air range. And yes, everything's taken off the top of here. So you can see what the problem is, is that this burner here just does not light with the sparker. And I'll show you why. So if we turn this burner on, see no spark? Well, there's a spark, but it goes way down there. The other one's spark all the way across. This, this one's better over here. You see that? So it should, what happens is the gas comes out here. Gas comes out through this hole here, and the spark lights it, and then it gets the whole thing lit. So that's why these, these are where the flames actually come out, and you'll see the little flame pattern around it. So the question is, why is the sparker not coming over here? And I think it's because this surface is dirty. See if I can get it in focus so you can see it there. You know, over time, you get little bits of stuff built up on this surface. So let's clean it and see if we get a better spark. All right, so to clean this, I'm going to try a couple of different things. Let me make enough room here so I can get in there. I'm going to try a blade on there, see if I can get kind of a, a little bit of a cleaner surface. Hopefully I can show you this. I'm just scraping the surface here to get it clean. We'll see if the spark will take off over there. Let me work on this. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get in there with you uh, and the camera, so hang on a second. All right, so I've got that surface clean. Let's see how it does. Nope, still not sparking the way it should. So maybe it's this surface around the edge here, this surface along here that should be able to spark. So let me get some sandpaper and we'll just lightly sand around there and maybe there too. All right, so those didn't work, but it's pretty easy to take this off. Just two screws. Here's the two screws. See, there's, there's the two screws there and there. Take those two screws out and then one little screw on the bottom, that one right there, and the sparker comes out of there. And I can see that it's pretty rusty under here. So let me clean that up as well. And now that I have this off of here, I can take a closer look at what the, um, the area around the sparker looks like. Looks pretty clean now, but we'll check it out here. All right, so we take this off and the problem was this is where the ground needs to go to. So this goes down and needs to ground out to this part. But that hooks onto there, and this gets kind of corroded and rusty in here. So I went ahead and cleaned up <clears throat> this surface here with sandpaper. And I cleaned up this surface inside here with sandpaper. And the two of those surfaces, this one and this one, will mate and... Um, give you a good connection between this component and this. So again, for this sparker to work, the spark has to go out through this and into that. So again, after 17 years, I needed to just clean that surface up and then it worked great. Now the other thing I did was <clears throat> clean these screws up. So they were pretty rusty and I took them, uh, ran the wire wheel on them. Um, you can do it a couple of different ways, just a wire brush will do it. But those go through, turn this over here, these go through this and then down into that. So it's another way for this to be connected to this. And they get wet down there, you know, water boils over and spills on them. And so that gets to the point where that's not making good contact. So clean these up, clean these surfaces up, and voila. You get a good connection now. You can see I, I worked on that section, those parts as well, just to clean up everything that could come in contact here and give it good uh, a good connection between the two, electrical connection between the two. All right. If you really want to be thorough, you can get a, um, a bronze a wire wheel or brass wire wheel, and you can clean it up that way. Now you can see that surface is now more polished looking. And I also ran it around there, and that really cleans that up nicely. I also ran it underneath here, and you can see that. 
I'll show you what that finish looks like compared to the ones that are there because they still have the corrosion on them. By the way, I recommend the brass rather than steel. Steel tends to um, be a little hard on surfaces. And when you don't care, you want steel to really get it clean. But in this case, I don't want it to mar the surface too much. So the brass is kinder to a surface like this. So that's why I use a brass wheel like this, not a steel one. So you can see the difference now between that and that. This is kind of dirty and grubby. It's got it nice and cleaned up. So I'll probably go ahead and do the rest of these. Not too hard to get them off of there. And just to be thorough, I did use a, a um, razor blade to scrape off the crud that had built up around here. So this is mostly clean now. It's got a lot of junk off of there and I did it around these other ones too so they're pretty clean around there. A little bit extra. Not necessary for the burner to work but it makes it look nicer. So here we go. Big test. And there we go. Lit every time. Now in our case we turn it on. This big burner needs to be turned all the way to low. I think it tries to blow itself out if all the, you know, if it's on high, like that. I think there's so much gas coming out, it makes it hard for the, the little sparker to light it. So we just turn it all the way to low. Anyhow, there we go. Another project completed. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Catch you on the next video. Bye.